Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and welcome to Travel Vlog Jamie. Today we are at the Premier Inn London Gatwick North, just ahead of our flight to Skiathos, Greece. It's going to be awesome. So we've stayed at this hotel multiple occasions, however, they have brand new Premier Plus rooms. So we thought we'd give this another whirl, show you around, uh, talk about prices, location, and we're going to check into the Thai restaurant for dinner as well. So come with me and let's explore. But before the main event, please do show your support by giving this video a cheeky cheeky little like, subscribing and turning on notifications for my bi-weekly travel and cruise vlogs. 24 hours in advance of your stay at this particular Premier Inn, you'll receive an email with all the details about your reservation. This will include a reminder of your reservation number that you can use to do a self-check-in when you arrive at the hotel. We arrived by train into London Gatwick South. From here, you can take a free shuttle to London Gatwick North, which takes no longer than two to three minutes. We're about to pass the Sofitel Hotel on our left-hand side. And yes, I do already have a vlog about our stay there. You'll actually pass the Premier Inn on your right-hand side. And as you can see, it's a very short walk from the shuttle station. Head to the rear of the station platform where you'll find elevators and stairs to take you down to ground level. And there you are, easy as that. Welcome to the Premier Inn. How fabulous to be welcomed by shattered glass, eh? First impressions are everything, but don't be put off just yet, folks. Et voila, the entrance and the mezzanine level. You need to head to floor zero, however, to check in. Some handy information in the lift and duly noted. Right, so at the Premier Inn, you can check yourselves in using one of these screens. Pretty simple, just need the reference number. They might ask for a few details. As a part of the checking process, you can also add meals. So you've got your Premier Inn, unlimited breakfast. Uh, they have meal deals, uh, or you might just opt for a Continental. I think we'll continue with that. Thank you, Matthew. Would you like to upgrade Wi-Fi? I don't think so. And there we are. We can confirm check-in. Holy macaroni, is that how much it is? <laughs> oh, well, I better pay for that, I suppose. Let's get the credit card out. And then it says we're going to collect our documents below. Oh, look, something's just popped out. Looks like that's our room number, floor nine, room 26. Invoice and the key card has just popped out as well. Now then, it's going to spit out one key card. So if you want another, and I recommend you do, it might be that we need to insert it to operate electricery and um, aircon as well. So let's get a second. Your bed awaits. Well, thank you so much. I think we've finished. So we are wondering if the Premier Plus rooms are higher up. We're on floor nine. I'll tell you one thing, these carpets have been replaced and it smells bloody lovely up here. What is that scent being pumped out of the vents? Oh, it's gorgeous. I could just bathe in it. There you are, Matthew's found it. 926. Let's see what these Premier Plus rooms are all about. Matthew was just saying that in the lift, and I didn't notice, of course, all rooms on the ninth floor are Premier Plus rooms. Anyway, come on in, folks. Like I said downstairs when we were checking in, do get an extra card because you're going to need to operate the electricery. Uh, directly to the left, you've got some hooks. Who doesn't love a few hooks, eh? Uh, oh, look at this cute little stool, little vanity area. We've got a hairdryer. Oh, it's purple. Aubergine. Let's say it's an aubergine hairdryer. Are you ready for the aubergine hairdryer test? I think you are. Setting number one. Not too hard to blow, not too warm, not going to end up in A&E. We've got a mirror here on the wall. There's a, a sort of wardrobe area. It looks like you've got extra pillows, etc. up there. Some hanging space. Oh, I do love a room with an iron and ironing board. Thank you very much, Premier Inn. And as you just come through, you've got a pretty much near floor to ceiling mirror as well. Hi, Travel Blog, Jamie, nice to see you. FYI, oh God, I hate it when people say that. For your information, there is an AC unit, thank goodness, and it works brilliantly. It's nice and cool in here. Now then, I can see the difference immediately uh, between a standard Premier in-room and this Premier Plus. It just feels and looks uh, more contemporary, uh, more comfortable, actually, 
If you didn't know this was a Premier Inn, you might think it was a completely different hotel. I like it. Of course, the Premier Inn is known for its comfy beds. I'll be the judge of that. We have got a really good sized unit, actually, to the right-hand side of the bed. Uh, we've got a UK socket and a USB port on one side. You've got a reading light over here. Thank you very much. And on this side, we've got another bedside unit. Oh, look, this piece of wall art is by Sam Smith, untitled 2017. I'll give it a name later. Uh, pleased to see there's another UK socket here and USB port. Plus, you have got your other reading light. So at the moment, this looks like it's going to be a really comfortable stay. Impressed so far. A little bench over here, half decent sized TV. Is it maneuverable? No, I suppose it doesn't need to be because it is actually directly opposite your bed, so you're okay. Right, we've got a workstation over here, which I really like. Um, oh, thank goodness, we've got a spinny on wheels. Love those, don't we? And I can see already we've got uh, two UK sockets here, which is much appreciated. We've got another USB port. There are three UK sockets here as well. And of course, in a Premier Plus room, you're going to get an espresso machine with your pods, etc. Oh, look, puck of tea. Uh, you've also got your kettle. Um, oh, I quite like these mugs, you know, folks. They're quite nice, aren't they? Mugs, glasses, and oh, what's this down here? No. We've got, a, oh my goodness, we've got a fridge. <laughs> I know that's like, of course, why wouldn't you have a fridge in a hotel room? Well, Premier Inn rooms don't normally have them. And look, we've got green and blacks. Uh, organic chocolate and two complimentary bottles of water. I know, we've paid for them really, haven't we? Uh, nice touch though, I like that. If you are looking for more storage space, there is room under the bed, but not for a deep case, I'm afraid, my loves. You're not gonna have the best views from the Premier in here, folks, I've got to be honest, but you know what? I like a roundabout. Who doesn't like a roundabout? Oh, and I'll be able to see the shuttle over there. Uh, there's a lot of green, isn't there? It's very quiet. I can't hear any of that traffic at all, so that's great. And, um, oh gosh, that's my iced coffee. Let me have a quick sip before I continue the tour. I'm really sorry, bear with me. If you've been following me forever, you know I'm addicted to iced coffee. Right, let's continue the tour. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my goodness. You know what I'm gonna say, don't you? Look at the length of that. How many people are we gonna get in this very long shower? Uh, I think you get five. I honestly do. Uh, one good thing is we've got our portable hose and you know we like having a nice little clean, our bits and bobs. Uh, we've got the monsoon. And what's this? Bayless and Harding. Now, so that's actually up, an upgrade from the uh, standard rooms. Um, I don't even know how to say this. It's oud, cedar and amber, lavender and bergamot. Mmm, I'll be bathing in that later. Well, let's have a peek from this angle. I mean, I think this is a good sized bathroom actually, folks, I must say. And I love the size of that shower. Now this is what we call a toilet. And you put your one cheek, two cheek, rah, rah on the toilet. Try not to fall down the middle, please. Um, sink basin, plenty of space around here for your bits and bobs, odds and sods. Like that light, that's very cool. Large mirror, and we also have um, some more product here. Look, natural hand wash. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my goodness, and look at that lovely chair. This ain't no ordinary Premier Inn. Alrighty, what I'd like to do now, if I may, is just show you some footage of a standard room from the last time we stayed in this particular Premier Inn. Tell me if you can notice a difference. No. Will you stay? Oh, that Matthew, honestly. Good to know. We're here if you need us. Matthew and Jamie, obviously here, but the Premier Inn are here. So if you're interested in paying it forward, the meal deal is £26.99. I think that's good value. You get your unlimited breakfast for that, plus uh, a two course dinner and a drink. Not bad at all. As you can see, room service is offered for a quiet night in 
but it does ask you to actually contact one of the team to find out more. Right, folks, this is so much better. I've always said when we've stayed here, they need to use this courtyard space much better. And look, they've actually introduced a bar and you can get uh, evening bar snacks and late night snacks from here as well. Uh, it's out in the open. There's a smoking area. I'm not a fan, but hey-ho. And then there's a clean area, if I may call it that, if I may be so bold. Let's have a squeeze at the evening bar menu. Food is served here from 5 p.m. until 10 p.m. Your usual pizzas, wings, burgers, or oh, house stack burger, etc. And they've introduced late night takeaway. I love this idea. Create your own pizza. Again, you've got your chicken wings, uh, burgers, etc. Good addition. Cheers, Matthew. We I've made it to the bar. £10 for two small glasses of Savvy Blanc. Not too bad for um, an airport hotel. The one that someone got you at work. Oh, it's the Ned Sauvignon Blanc from uh, New Zealand. Yeah, my friend Lee Jones got me this. Thanks, Lee, if you're watching. I'm sure he doesn't watch. <laughs> Very handy vending machines here as well. A few little treats or some of your amenities that you might have forgotten. Might I suggest that you do reserve your table for dinner if you're eating on site at time. Uh, after we checked in, we just popped over to the little podium and we were booked in within seconds. Now I seem to remember this restaurant being really big actually. Yeah, it's cavernous, isn't it? Welcome to time. Let's have a peek at this menu. So plenty of starters uh, and you can see on the right hand side, you've got your burgers and your pizzas as well salad because of course i'm so healthy i'm probably gonna have that aren't i not what are you doing over there matthew peeping, peeping. yeah uh from the grill we've got um steaks there are classics as well oh beef and ale pie chicken katsu curry got some pastas as well noodles uh accompaniments it's pretty hard to say that word uh, come a company man, a company man, a company man. and let's not forget those sides and desserts uh anything tickle your fancy or fancy your tickle oh i know i'm filthy but that is actually vodka look how much i've got did he say do you want a double he did didn't he did i say yes oh i'd already forgotten that look look at the size of that cheers matthew <laughs> my goodness matthew's prawn cocktails bigger than his head Looks good. My doughy balls absolutely reek of garlic. That sounds a bit dodged, doesn't it? Smells nice is what I meant to say. I don't want to deprive you of a drinks menu, folks. Um, so you have a, a range of spirits here, mixers, of course. Uh, they do actually serve cocktails now as well. Uh, Seven pounds per cocktail, I think is really good value, actually. And of course your beer and cider and no and low alcohol uh, drinks and prices. Soft drinks. There you go. Alrighty, double cheeseburger for Matthew, otherwise known as a double meat palace and some fries. I've gone with the tomato and chili linguine. I was hoping for the tomatoes to actually be cooked, they're raw. And I've just asked for some cheese as well. You we can't have pasta without parmesan, surely. The imaginatively named the bar. In case you're wondering what this is, it's, wow, it's a bar. How fabulous. Alrighty, that was dinner at time. I don't mind telling you I was a little underwhelmed. Okay, very underwhelmed. Uh, the pasta dish for 13 pounds something was way overpriced. Uh, lacking in flavor, raw tomatoes, uh, no Parmesan, etc., etc. Uh, a bit disappointing really. Uh, although Matthew's burger, actually his uh, double meat palace Buffy pop culture there uh, was tasty. I liked it. Um, not that I ate much of his burger, of course, because what would Matthew eat if I was eating his dinner? I think you're better off, and we would have been better off getting the meal deal. The only thing is with us, uh, we are not looking to have breakfast on site tomorrow morning. Maybe go to Costa downstairs, quick iced coffee and a pastry, and then off to the airport, and we'll have breakfast there. Um, but actually, we spent more than $26.99 each just on our dinner. So choose wisely. Comfies are on, nearly bedtime. Uh, big question, 
will we get a good night's sleep? Is this a comfy bed? Well, you'll find out in the morning. And yes, I know my legs look weird, don't they? Because they're <laughs> brown here and they're like really white there. I don't know what happened. I'm really sorry. Uh, good night for now. I'll tell you how we get on in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It's Jamie here still. Um, so how did I sleep? Well, like a big chunky log. What a lovely night's sleep that was. Very comfortable bed and pillows. And the room temperature was perfect. The AC doing its thing. So absolutely great night's sleep. Time for breakfast. I think we're gonna head to Costa for an iced coffee, obvs. Uh, maybe just a toasty, a pastry or something. Let's go and see what that's all about. You're like, it's like a Costa. I've seen that before, but you haven't seen a Costa here. <laughs> How remiss of me. When you come out of the lift to the left-hand side, you have a screen. Uh, it's got all the departure times for your flights. Very handy. Oh, I do love a Costa on site, I must say. Right, let's get ourselves a toasty and an iced coffee. A few prices for you. I'm so kind like that. And your frappe, other drinks. And there's a separate seating area for Costa Coffee right next to the courtyard. And good to know they've got some UK sockets and USB ports in here as well. Right, check out, super easy. Go to the lower ground floor and just drop off your cards. There are a range of rooms you can choose from at this particular Premier in Standard and Premier Plus Doubles twin rooms, family rooms, and accessible rooms. Be aware that there's no on-site parking at this hotel. You'd need to use the Gatwick Airport Short Stay Car Park. And there you have it, folks. That is the premiere in London Gatwick North. What are your thoughts? Drop them below. I'd love to hear from you. And whilst you're at it, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. My next vlog, all about our three nights in Skiathos, is almost ready. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube.